Welcome to another informative video brought to you by Ortruo. In one of our series, we were introduced to B and our system as a whole. We look at B and our communication protocol, which are Powerlink and Ethernet. Also in one of the other series, we also look at B and our drives, which is how harmonic are removed through line filter. B and our regenerating abilities was also look at how B and our system coordinates itself during power interruption. We ended off with the various voltage B and our power modules delivers to safe motion drives. In this series, we will be looking at B and our safe logic PLC. Specifically what this PLC is. And how it coordinate the interconnected B and our modules during B and our modules replacements. Stay tuned. SafeLogic PLC is a standalone PLC within the B and R system. This PLC is usually connected to X20 CPU through the use of PowerLink communication protocol. The PLC monitor all the safety component on the B and R system. It checks the safety configuration of all B and R components during startup. That is, the field configurations will be compared with the SafeLogic stored configurations. This check for conformity. And in a situation where it does not conforms, the system will not start up. Now let look at what to do during modules replacements. A lot of operator have often been reported to have struggle a bit during B and R hardware replacement. As mentioned earlier, when an hardware are replace, the SafeLogic PLC will automatically scan all the connected hardware for conformity. The hardware that are not recognized will be rejected by the SafeLogic PLC. Now let's look at the correct step to be taken when replacing a B and R Acapus drives. Disconnect the power going to the power module, and wait until the drive's capacitors have been fully discharged. Remove the faulty drives from the bus bar. Again the connecting port is designed in such a way that finger cannot go in between. But to be on a safer side, always wait for some few minutes. By that time, the power capacitor would have fully been discharged. After which, you can remove the drives. Set the address of the new drives to the address of the old drives. After setting up, install the new drives to the bus bar and power up. After powering up, sometimes the new drives will not be recognized by the system. For confirmation's sake, the new Acapus LEDs will be blinking red and the run LED will not lit. Look at the SafeLogic PLC. The MXCHG LED will be blinking. Special attention should be placed on the number of time the LED blinks. After the number has been determined, turn the button to the number and press enter. The SafeLogic PLC will automatically download the software configuration to this new drives. Again this procedures can also be repeated to a non-drives modules. Now let look at the advantages. In traditional setup, when drives are replaced, the drives will need to be parameterized or the software configuration will need to be downloaded. But the B and our SafeLogic PLC eliminate this. The parameterization is handled automatically by the SafeLogic PLC. It download the software automatically to the drives. Also apart from the fact that the drive parameterization is done automatically. 
It eliminates errors because it ensures that the right configuration are downloaded to the replace drives, since it is handled by the SafeLogic PLC. Let's do a quick recap. We started off looking at B and our SafeLogic PLC. We look at how to replace Acopus module the correct way. We ended off looking at the advantages that this system offers over the traditional system setup. Hope you have learned something today. See you in our next series. Thank <music> you.